Hey everybody, um, time for another review tonight. Um, I actually got to catch up on a couple of them uh, that I haven't done. So uh, the first one tonight is the final version of um, Sunbelt Viper. It's their newest one, just got it off the web. Um, I guess it's their 2011 version. It uh, really hasn't changed much that I can tell. Uh, they might have changed some things, but I don't use it pretty much at all. So people who do probably know exactly what's changed but it is um, fully updated and uh, a couple of settings here if you do decide on using Viper um, first off I want to say that this is actually a fairly affordable antivirus um, so that's actually nice to see some of the things that I want to show you guys is under advanced here under the active protection they do have um, let's see was it here yeah, it'll prompt you. Uh, you can change it. So if an unknown program tries to do some changes to the system, you can set it to prompt me. Or um, if it changes important system settings, or if it tries to run or change important uh, system settings stock, it's in allow uh, unknown program. So we're going to leave it there. There's also a prompt me for action upon suspicious uh, characteristics, which you can always check, though. Uh, this one might increase false positives and another thing is in the firewall here they do have a host intrusion prevention system a HIPS setting um, it's not as granular as some of the other ones that I've seen but what you can do is it has allow allow with notify block or block with notify what you can do is if you decide on using this is do block with notify and if it blocks something it will tell you that it did and it will give you an option to create a rule to unblock it so other than that you know there's just some of the standard settings which you can always look at um, so let's uh, get going here I think I have 15 links here we'll see how many uh, work now this is also has the uh, Viper Sunbelt um, cloud DNS, which you want to call it the DNS service here, that blocks malicious um, links and that works very well. So we'll see how many of them we can get past that one. Okay, so it didn't block this one. The, the DNS service did, but it was blocked by Viper, so that's good to see. Let's try the next one. Okay, and that one was blocked. Okay, and see that one was blocked by the DNS service. And so was that one. And so was that one. Okay, and that one was blocked by signatures. Okay, that one's taking a while, so we'll keep going here. Okay, it doesn't look like that one was this one was blocked by the DNS but that other one that install doesn't look like it was blocked and that one doesn't work okay that one was blocked and so was that one So with that one, so it looks to me like they're relying fairly heavily on the DNS service here to do a lot of the blocking, which is fine, I guess, that you count it as more of a uh, kind of like a web guard almost.
second. It doesn't look like that one was blocked. Okay, so we did the links. And that was pretty quick. And we're going to open up Viper here. And we are going to do a full system scan. We will do a deep scan. Now, the one nice thing is that you can always change what type of scans you want to do here, what you want it to include, what you don't want it to include. So that's always an interesting thing. You can do uh, scan aside archives, uh, lower priority, removable drives, whatever you decide on uh, doing there. We're just going to leave it as it is, and we're going to scan. Now let's check out, see if we have anything running in memory. Don't see anything out of the out of the ordinary, but you never know. It could be hiding. Um, right now, uh, memory usage is actually not that bad considering it's doing a full scan. Um, normally, it uses very low memory, um, so that's good to see. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let this uh, finish scanning, and I will be back when it's uh, done scanning. See you soon. Alright guys, the scan just completed with uh, Viper and it found some cookies. So we're going to clean those out. Uh, we can't clean them out, sorry. Uh, you can't clean anything out with Viper while you're in trial. But it didn't find anything major. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot and um, run CCleaner and then I'm going to run Malwarebytes. So I will be back when Malwarebytes is done scanning. See you soon. Alright, so Malwarebytes just finished scanning, and it didn't find anything, so that's good. Next I'm going to do a scan with Norton Power Eraser just for the hay of it, and we'll see it if it finds anything, so I will be back when it's done scanning. Okay, so Norton just finished scanning, and it didn't find anything, so that's good to see. I'm going to also do a scan with uh, Super Anti Spyware here. Um, why not, right? So I'm going to let this do a quick scan, just like I always do, and I will be back when it's done scanning. Okay, so Super anti Spyware finished scanning, and it didn't find anything. So last but not least, I'm going to do a scan with Hitman Pro, and I will be back when this is done scanning. Okay, so um, Hitman Pro finished scanning, and it didn't find anything either. So as of right now, I can say that I'm pretty certain that um, Viper here did a really good job in cleaning up all that stuff. Um, apparently those other two pieces of malware that made it by didn't do anything or didn't make, them, didn't make it by. So there you go. There's the review on the newest version of uh, Sunbelt Viper. And it uh, works pretty well. And for the price, it's a really good value. I think you can get a the antivirus premium here which has the firewall and everything for I think like 40 bucks 30 bucks something like that and compared to some of the other prices out there like the Kaspersky is 80 bucks and whatnot uh, Viper here is a real good uh, company and if you're the type of person who likes to buy American made things uh, as some people do uh, if I remember right uh, Sunbelt is based out of Florida so that's just another thing if you guys if some people like that and don't want to spend a ton of money for semantic or who knows what uh, this is a pretty good option so hope you guys enjoyed the review here and um, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do another one tonight or whatnot but we'll see and I'll talk to everybody later take care